Are you ready to become a master angler in Valheim? Well, this video is for you, as today I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about the fishing. From getting started with the basics to advanced fishing techniques. I'm gonna talk about all the different fish qualities and biomes, how to craft all the different lures in the game, what you should bring on your next fishing trip, and we're also gonna talk about the new top tier food which you can unlock with fishing. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Alright, so first off, we're gonna need a fishing rod and some bait so we can start fishing. And these can be purchased from Haldor, the trader in the Black Forest. Once you've located him, your fishing adventure begins. Haldor only sells basic fishing bait though, which can be used in the meadows, an introduction to fishing basically. So let's first talk about the basics of fishing and then move on to all the different baits you can craft as well as the fish you can catch in different biomes. Alright, so what you're gonna do first is search for a nice school of fish, where you can start catching these bad boys. Sometimes this can take a while, but I definitely recommend you to search along the coastline, and in particular these little bays, as they are without doubt the hot spot for fishing. I mean, every fisherman knows this, right? Next up, what you want to do is eat as much stamina food as possible. All the types of food that have a lot of that will be fantastic for fishing, as your stamina bar is going to drain pretty quickly when you have fish on the hook. For the first biomes, you don't need crazy food, but towards the late game, and especially for catching higher quality fish, which we're going to talk about in a second, you're going to need more and more of that. I think some cloud berries, yellow mushrooms and also a bread or other type of nice stamina food is gonna be just fine to get started with fishing, but you could also go with lower food if you are not yet on this level. Next up, you're gonna equip your fishing bait and basically press and hold your left mouse button, then release it to cast your rod. The longer you hold it, the further you can cast it. So that was a 10 meter cast, while if we hold it the longest, we will do about 25 meters. Then you're just gonna leave the bait out there and wait for the fish to bite. Look at that, a little splash popped up, so then you're gonna basically press and hold the right mouse button to reel in the fish, and if you reel it all the way to the coast, it will appear in your inventory. Look at that, we just caught a quality one perch. The perch is one of the two ingredients which you're gonna need to craft the fishing lure for the next biome, but personally though, I don't think you should rush biomes, as you can actually catch different types of fish with different lures in each biome, and I just really like to spend time fishing in Valheim, as right here I actually managed to catch a quality 2 tuna with also the regular fishing bait. After a little bit of fishing, I decided to rest a little bit, so let's check out all the fish we caught. First we caught a quality 1 perch, then a quality 2 tuna, and also another quality 2 perch. And if you visit the cauldron, you can actually turn these fish into raw fish, which is a great ingredient for cooking any fish you catch in the game basically. So if we press craft right here, it will turn the first fish into raw fish. So there goes our level 1 perch, got turned into one raw fish. Well, right now, if we press craft another time, we will actually turn the quality 2 perch into four raw fish. We're gonna do the same with the tuna right now, so we should go from five to nine. Look at that, so a quality 1 fish will basically give you one raw fish, while a quality 2 gives you four. I also caught a quality 3 tuna earlier, and if we turn that one into raw fish, we get seven. They are without doubt a lot more challenging to catch, but also a lot more rewarding. It is very important that you don't use the higher quality fish for the bait crafting, as it really doesn't matter which quality the fish is. So you should always save the quality 2 and 3 for turning into raw fish, while the quality ones should be used for the fishing bait. By the way, nothing is better than fishing together in Valheim. Go on an epic fishing trip with your friends on a server. If you want to have a nice discount for hosting, make sure to check out my ref link in the description and support the channel while you're at it. Cheers! I already caught every single fish there is to catch in all the different biomes in the game, so of course I also needed all the different types of baits, all the way to the frosty fishing bait. So let me just show you how you can craft every single one of them. Once you've crafted mossy fishing bait with perch and troll trophies, you'll have access to black forest fishing and can then catch troll fish. If you combine those bad boys with abomination trophies, you can unlock the sticky fishing bait. With giant herrings from the swamp and fueling trophies, you can craft stingy fishing bait to start catching fish in the plains. There you will find loxes and groupers, which you can combine for misty fishing bait. Once you've proven yourself a master fisherman in the mistlands, you can advance to the ashlands with anglerfish and a surling trophy, 
as with the hot fishing bait, you'll be able to catch magma fish. And if you combine those with a Drake trophy, you can craft frosty fishing bait, which gives you access to the final biome for deep north fishing. Some fishing bait gives you access to new fish, which don't necessarily bring you to a next biome. For example, the cold fishing bait can be made with tuna and wolf trophies. Apparently, this can be used to catch pikes in different biomes, but I always use the regular fishing bait for this. While with pikes and a serpent trophy, you will unlock the heavy fishing bait. And with these bad boys, you can catch coral cod, which only swims in the ocean. So, here's my sheet with all the different fish we can catch in the game as of right now, with all the different biomes where I managed to find them, and which bait I would recommend to use. You can definitely tell that the meadows, black forest, swamp and plains are great places to catch fish, as not only the biome specific fish will pop up right here, but also pike and tuna, which both can be caught with the regular fishing bait. So, if you just want to chill in Valheim, catch different types of fish with different qualities, I think these biomes are going to be a fantastic place for your next fishing trip. While the Mistlands, our new biome, comes with both anglerfish and pufferfish, while the Ashlands and Deep North also already have their own fish type. So, I personally think you should definitely check out every single one of them. Now, let's move on to all the food, and especially top tier food, which you get access to with the fishing. So after you've turned all your tier 1 fishies into raw fish, you can basically cook them for cooked fish. This gives you 45 HP as well as 15 stamina, so it's gonna be very nice early and mid-game food. While if you want to make something a lot better out of it, you want to focus on the fish wraps. With just 4 barley flour and 2 cooked fish, you can make yourself a delicious snack which gives 70 HP and 23 stamina, which is gonna be awesome for combat. Personally though, I'm a bigger fan of everything tempura, shrimp tempura for example, and once you've caught some angler fish in the Mistlands biome, you can actually craft uncooked fish and bread. Once you've placed these bad boys in the oven, ooh lads, you are in for a treat, as these tasty snacks give you 30 HP but also 90 stamina for 30 minutes, which is gonna be hands down the best food to craft in the game if you want to focus on a huge stamina bar, make fishing and exploration a lot easier. So after you've caught some angler fish, it's definitely going to be interesting to craft some of these bad boys, while if you want to continue with the fishing and make it easier to catch quality 2 and 3 fish, you should also focus on something like ice cream. Pretty easy to craft and gives you 65 stamina, while the blood pudding gives you 75. Slightly more difficult to make, but still very manageable once you've got some farms up and running. And then in the very bottom right here, we also have the mushroom omelette. For three eggs and three Jotun puffs, you will get a whopping 85 stamina and 28 HP. Also very easy once you have a nice chicken farm. By the way, if you still need to make one, I've got a pretty nice guide for you guys in the top right of the screen. Definitely make sure to check it out if you want to have all the feathers and eggs in the world. Anyways, the further you progress with the biomes and the higher quality fish you find, it's going to be more difficult, more challenging to reel them in as well. So here are some pro tips to make fishing a lot easier, secure the catch on those higher quality and rare fish. First off, I definitely recommend you to bring enough resources for a portal, but also a campfire, as it will allow you to get back to your base quickly to get some new lures, store fish, but also constantly regain the rested bonus, as it will give you 100% more stamina regen, which is going to make it so much easier to consistently and quickly catch fish. Of course, after a little bit of rain or swimming, it can definitely be useful to also get rid of the wetness to improve your stamina regen. The provided sheet shows you which fish you can catch in different biomes and which lures you should be using. Sometimes fish will be attracted to different lures though, while they will most likely not bite on a lure of a previous biome. The sheet doesn't, however, show you where exactly to fish. And this is pretty interesting, as some people absolutely love to fish on a boat, while other people prefer the coast. You can actually right click to make the length of your line a little bit shorter, or hold it to reel it in faster. If you spot a small fish, it's usually a quality one, so it's going to be pretty easy to reel it in even from a longer distance, while for higher quality fish, I recommend you to keep the line pretty close to you, maximum 10 meters, as you will burn through your stamina very quickly when reeling them in. Well, I think it's also very nice to have a hoe with you as well as a nice amount of rocks so you can raise the ground and prevent waves from constantly interrupting your fishing. Especially in rainy and windy weather, I think it's very nice to have a higher level with either a fishing platform or raised ground so you don't always have to worry about the wetness and especially losing the fight against the higher quality fish which can be extremely annoying. 
So, raising ground and building your own platforms to catch fish a little bit easier can definitely be interesting, but will also slightly increase the distance, so it can also become slightly more challenging to reel in higher quality fish. But this tip is gonna be very helpful for you. You basically wanna call it, when you catch fish in multiplayer, have someone else take the fish off the hook, so you just walk backwards on land, and the other guy will just jump in the water or get to the fish as close as possible, and then you can basically take it off the hook a lot easier, prevent it from escaping. Anyways, I'd love to hear your fishing adventure stories in the comments down below. If these tips work for you, make sure to hit that like button as well as it helps out the channel. Very much appreciated. And yeah, if you have more questions about the game or suggestions for future videos, share them in the comments or on the Discord, which can be found in the description. Right now, though, I want to wish you an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.